the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, Burris Optics, Mercury Marine and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Ammunition, Browning Firearms, Suffolk Fishing Line, Rapala, Camilla Snides and Cuda Tools, Excalibur Crossbones, and Yukon Gear. The summer of 2020 proved to be rather challenging. From an incredible heat wave that lasted most of July and August, that increased water temps to record highs on most lakes across the country, which of course, made fishing pretty tough. Now add to that the impact of COVID-19 keeping us all fishing close to home, it meant I kind of had to get creative in how to make the best of a bad situation. 8.30 in the morning. Look at that. Not a cloud in the sky. It's going to be super hot. It's flat calm. We're in the coming into the dog days of summer. We've sprayed down with sunscreen, um, but uh, we're going to spend a day out here on this lake drifting around fishing. The trick is you can overheat if you're casting all day in weather like this. So we're going to show you how to do some low impact bass fishing. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? Not we're not going to exert any energy. Yeah. We're going to hide from the sun. <laughs> okay. But hopefully we're going to catch giant fish. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the Lund up here. I'm going to show you how to, to do this. We've got uh, a cool accessory this boat came with. I'm going to set it up and then we're going to find our spot and we're going to fish. How do you work an umbrella? Never used one. <laughs> oh, 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 kiddo, look at this, hiding from the sun. Can I sit on that side? The Maybe. Now, eyeballs. we're not ready to fish yet. I gotta get our fishing rods put together. Okay, August, do you want uh, yellow head or white head? White. What? White. August, this is gonna be your first time using a real expensive, fancy fishing rod. But I've matched two rods up here. They're seven foot one, medium actions. Perfect for fishing with a float. I put a float with a bobber stop on so we can adjust the depth. And we're fishing actually with VMC micro lures for crappies. But we're gonna bass fish here because it's real hot, fish are lethargic, and we're gonna be patient. You want know this one? The white you said? Yeah. Oh my god, you're gonna kick my butt with the white one. Okay. All right, <laughs> and that's it. We're gonna start fishing. Okay. Now you see the little bobber stopper? Yeah. Okay, now hold your rod. Just let your bobber sit there and do nothing. Okay. And every once in a while, just reel it towards you two turns, lift your rod tip up. Okay. Now watch your bobber, okay? Pull it towards you a little bit. Make it. Your bobber's basically acting as something you can jig with. Set the hook, set the hook. You got one. You, you got, got one? it. Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe your bobber just drove down like that. Wow, kid, hold on tight. I'll get the net. Is it big? Yeah. That a girl. Holy. <laughs> it worked, August. The bobber fishing in the shade. What a giant. Whoa. <laughs> he went Keep too far. All right, bring it in here. I think you've got this thing beat. I'm going to extend the net. Well, the net can extend? Yeah. He really doesn't want to. You gotta to lift your in. rod, that's why. Leverage. The rod wears him out. Keep it up. The fish can't fight if your rod's in the air. I got it! Whoa! Look at the size of this bass you just caught, Junior. Okay, you lay the rod down and go get your measuring stick. What's the biggest one you ever caught? 22 inches. A 22 inch smolly. Look at this. Oh. Look at your little jig. It just <laughs> fell out of his mouth. That's what we're fishing with. It's so fast. I'll show you these later. Unbelievable. This thing is massive, kid. <laughs> okay, ready? I bet you it's close to 20 inches. 19, just about 19. 19 inch bass. Think you can hold that up and let it go? I don't know. It's heavy, but you support it with your hand. Put your right thumb in here. Can you help me in right, case it Right lifts? thumb in here. 
Uh-oh, this is my basket. It's real heavy. Oh, so no. No, put it in and then grab its <laughs> belly. It's tired. You wore it out. Way in. Now grab it. Way in there. Yep, now grab its belly. Hold it up to the camera. <laughs> Got it. Ow. Hold tight. There you go. Giant fish. Ow. Awesome. Hold He's tight. Biting. Don't panic. Okay, you're going to let him go carefully. Oh, no. <laughs> Good job. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Min Kota and Humminbird. Calm, sunny days are what every bass angler dreams of. Being on the deck of a bass boat and searching for aggressive fish is a scene we all pine for. These types of days are perfect for sitting back, relaxing in the shade. Oh, I thought I had one there. See that? And letting the fish come to you. Oh, August, there's a shark around my bobber. A shark? Got one. <gasps> on the net. Oh, it's gigantic. Oh, look at the net. It's right here, kid. Oh, you can net it right now. Woo, good job, August. Bring him up there in the front deck. Uh, lift, lift, <laughs> lift, ah, lift. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I'm going to need pliers, I think. Okay, I'll grab them. I got them here. You oh. get the measuring stick and bring it up. Got it. Look at this. Oh, this fish is heavy and girthy. Look at this little tiny jig head. Okay. Right there, August. Look at these for crappy fishing. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. what a beaver. Oh, okay. okay. Lay that down here. Okay, you ready? This fish is pretty hot. It came in fast. Measure it. 19? Oh, it's over 19. Little I got you beat. Wow, that's a fat fish. Probably a, almost a five pounder. Four, four and changer. Four and a half. Gorgeous. Oh my God, that was another nice one. Mm. Those are big, eh? Yeah. Holy, it's hot up here in the sun. Let's go back to the shade. Yes. <laughs> Run! I gotta get out of the net. Look at this little setup. <laughs> oh, I gotta re-rig my plastic. Tore it up. Oh no. Giant smallmouth right there. Just a bit bigger than BMC, I'm telling you. Might be a good ice fishing lure or a crappy lure. But it's an even better bass lure. Thank you. <laughs> we cruise the lake looking for hot spots on the hummingbird. There's a bit of weed growth. There'll be weed on the edge here. And then it tops out into that gravel bar. We want to talon down where we are. We're going to just basically cast over into that. So hopefully the small you're just cruising along the edge at this point. And then when we saw what we liked, pop the umbrella, cast our floats, and enjoyed an awesome summer day. Even the water snakes were chilling out and enjoying a swim. Look at this, kid. Oh, is that a water Look snake? Look at the colors. Wow. There's another one up there going to shore. You see them? Oh, yeah. They'll bite, but they're not poisonous. Yeah, but they hurt, you, though. Well, no, but if you're in the water and you threaten them, they'll bite you. Yeah. And but you see how these trees all overhang? Yeah. They come in and out of those trees. Yeah, they kind of slither up. And we actually bit. saw one with, with a, a minnow or with a minnow in his mouth. Yeah. What a cool snake. Okay, let's get back out there. Okay. Who's gonna catch the biggest one today? We're both around 19 inches so far. Yeah. How does this happen, eh, kid? Dad, my rod's bending. <laughs> Your float is down, August. <laughs> <laughs> okay, easy. Holy smokes. This thing is gigantic, August. We haven't even got our life jackets off yet. This is the hot spot. It's under the boat. Is it pulling hard? <laughs> Real. <laughs> oh, man. Holy smokes, August, this bass is huge. Pull him out, he's going into the talons. Uh-oh, is he caught in the talons? Hold him up, pull the rod. Don't let him go into that boat. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna net him next time. Towards me, turn him, you can steer him. Nope. Pull him out, pull him out of there, pull him out of there. 
harder. We got him. Ooh, look at the size of this. Hey, it's got it's got a bad eye. That's why he maybe bit your lower and not mine. Oh my. Holy smokes, August. That's the giantest bass you're ever gonna catch. Think you can hold him for the camera for a second? <laughs> look at that belly on that fish. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna measure him quick, then we're gonna put it back. And is it 20? Just about 50 centimeters. 19 and a half incher. Holy oh, solid giant bass. See how he's got a bad eye? Can you want to let, let it go? go for me? I don't think I can. He's really heavy. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I'll put the measuring <sighs> stick away. You go get bigger, dude. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, you're free. Wow. <laughs> what a cool bass you caught. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Yamaha ATVs. I'm pretty lucky that my daughter has taken an interest in fishing. Whoa! <laughs> and she loves to spend time on the boat. How's your arm? Worn out? Oh yeah, kid. We caught a beauty. Look at this, watch this. <laughs> Look at that little thing. Isn't that cute? Okay, just grab on, let him go. Go. Do, 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 do. He bit your lure again. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm getting into the shade. Huh. Wow. Aren't you awesome? Everything is awesome. August and I were determined to catch some giant summer smallmouth bass. Mm -mm. Talk fishing, eh? We're just sitting here watching bobbers. Hardest fishing you can do. Catching giants. But spending a day in the unbearable heat and baking under the sun isn't anyone's idea of a fun day. See, so, you know, normally on a hot day, we'd hook your rope up and pull you on your tube with this. But it makes a great sunscreen. So, with a few modifications to the Lund. You okay over there, kiddo? Yep. And some simple trout fishing tricks. All we're doing is tying on nymph. Crayfish and love bugs. Uh, VMC makes them. We were set up out of the sun and hoping the fish would come to us. Here he goes. He's about to peck it. Yes. Uh. Go, Daddy. Oh, Whoa. I got a good one, kid. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one coming behind Got another him. another thing coming. Not a, sing it. In the weeds. Don't let him get in the weeds. Net him. No, oh, he lower. banged into it. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to put the net deeper. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. No, no. <laughs> Dad. No, no. Dad, stop. Let go. I go got lower it. on the net. Grab it down further. Dad. <laughs> I got it. Okay. It's just making it harder. Have you got him? <laughs> Can you even lift that one in the boat? Come on. Ah! Blub, blub, blub. Right in the corner of his mouth. That's probably her mouth. That's a big bass. Wow, it is hot on the seat. Told you. Oh. You got belly on it. I'm not kissing it. No? No. I'll get the measuring stick. Stick. No, get, let's get the scale. Yeah. Pull the power. Boop, 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 boop. We're gonna know what these weigh. I think it's almost a four pounder. 385. Whoa. 390. Giant. Okay, measuring. Limit of those at the KBI in Kenora. You win. Measuring stick. Good thing about that lun stick, it stays in that holder and it doesn't get hot on the deck. Lay it down. See, it's nice and cool. Feel it? Normally, if you had that out in the sun, it would be hot on the fish. But we're just going to do a quick measurement. 19. Just oh. over 19. So, you know, all those fish we've caught that are 19 inches are about 3.9 pounds. Get bigger. Uh -uh. We'll come back later and get you again. A lot bigger. Nice and cool. 
Hey, he's biting me. <laughs> he's biting me. They're so weird the way they go down with their stomach in the air. I know, it makes you think they're dead at first and then they kind of just... Because they don't know what's up and down. There he goes. Good job, kid. I mean, Dad. What? I'm pretty smart for figuring out how to fish in the shade all day, ain't I? The Fishing Edge is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. To get the edge over the fish, we use the Lund 1875 Pro V Bass and Mercury 4 Stroke 200 Pro XS. Humminbird Helix 10s helped us find some great structure to fish, and once there, we anchored in place with the 12 foot Minn Kota Talons. We ran an assortment of VMC micro jigs under floats on 6 pound Suffix Advanced fluorocarbon line and 7 foot 1 medium action 13 fishing rods. A lucky strike net made sure all the fish came in the boat and CUDA pliers and tools made for easy unhooking and releasing of these jumbo summer smallies. Catching big smallies on light tackle brings a whole new challenge. These fish strip drag, leap in the air, and go on arm burning runs. How's it feel to catch a fish like that? I have to admit, even though I do like being on the move, hunting, and casting for aggressive fish, call me old, but I think I could get used to this low impact style of reeling in the big ones. You get one? I got them! <laughs> Oh, I guess to get the net, it's going to be a... <laughs> oh, oh, no. I scared it. Is it big? Yeah. No, 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 no. you got to keep the net close to the boat and down in the water deep and then lift when the fish comes over it. Yeah. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come to this weird thing in the water. Okay, slide your hands down lower, like a baseball bat, so you have more leverage. You did it! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at the size of this fish! <laughs> this could be the biggest one of the day, kid. I'm sorry, your dad might have beat you. Aww. Look at how he's hooked. Where's the kudos? Right behind you on your right side. Right side. That's my other right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's mad. Popped. See how strong? What a great little system. Oh, wow. August oh, and. Are you ready? Official measurement. Oh, 21 and a third. <laughs> That's a five pounder. That's a five pounder, kiddo. Woo! All it takes right there. Hot sunny day, sit under the umbrella and smash these. Come on, let's let this one go, August. This is the this is the capper, I think. You wanna let it go, big giant bass? No. Wanna feel how heavy it is? No. Okay. Come on down here. Whoa, look at he's biting me. <laughs> go on! Woo! Give me five. Good net job. Slime that fish. was incredible. Look at this mess. So, I've got to just light 10 pound suffix braid, fluorocarbon leader, just a float you would fish for trout or salmon in the creek with, and look at that little hook. It's almost straightened out with that big giant bass, but that's it, 16th ounce. And the trick is the rod, okay? These are big fish, but you need a rod with a nice soft tip, bit of backbone so you can lean on them, and hold steady pressure. Loosen your drag, and uh, just hold the fish. And you can actually feel when that fish wants to run, you can either bow to it or just let the drag go. But either way, you let the rod do the work, and that fish will come to the surface and go in the net. That's all there is to it. I'm in the sun though, and I need to get back in the shade. Mm. 
I've never, I can't believe I caught that fish.